Hello. <clears throat> Today I want to speak about the Battle of uh, uh, Guadalcanal, the naval battle of November 12, 1942, on which um, a Japanese fleet uh, that was sent to bomb uh, the Henderson Airfield in Guadalcanal was in intercepted by uh, an American fleet and uh, the US Navy have a big advantage but uh, it forget to exploit exploit his advantage and the reason are uh, explained in this video my reference are the book of Tameiki Hara Fred Saito and Roger Pinot the memoirs of uh, uh, Japanese destroyer captain Tamiki Ara and uh, on which he put a question he never find an answer and then they um, questioned myself what was the the reason why American did, didn't exploit the advantage what was with the advantage and why they didn't exploit exploit this advantage advantage and finally i find the answer 20 years after in the book navi nay battle of guadalcanal of robert d ballard he explored the bottom of the sea of the of the slot the, the space between a lot of the island of guadalcanal and they give the answer of my question, the question put by Captain Tameiki Ara. The problem was this. Uh, the Japanese fleet was sent to bomb the Henderson Airfield and the Admiral, the Japanese Admiral, decided to use uh, a formation uh, against uh, uh, airplane if, um, and uh, submarine. He foreseen that he will will be attacked by airplane and submarine. So the formation was readily confused, on which the main ship was put in the center of a group of ship, and on the, on both sides were put the uh, destroyer. And this complicated formation, you can see here. You see the main ship in one line, in a row, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three, the destroyer on the side. This formation was kept so the, the fleet meet a thunderstorm and the visibility was quite to zero. So it was very dangerous because the, the, there was possibility that the ship collided each, each one, each, each other. Instead, American that was sent to intercept U.S. Navy that was sent to intercept the Japanese fleet adopted a perfect regular line of ship destroyer in front, destroyer at the bottom, in the middle are the cruisers. So we are we have battleship three row battleship destroyer and destroyer instead we have only one row okay in the night the two fleet meet together and Tameiki Ara was captain of one of the destroyer say that the American um, wasn't uh, so fast to open fire and so the fleet came closer and closer and closer and no one opened fire. And then they opened fire when the, the fleet was quite colliding each other. They say American has a big advantage and they, uh, he don't understand, he say that he didn't understand why they didn't exploit his advantage. So the question are two. 
what was the advantage of the Americans of the US Navy and why the US Navy, US Navy didn't exploit this advantage. For the fifth question, the, the question puzzled me a long time, but probably a, a good sailor could find the answer in less time that I spent to understand what was the problem. Well, the problem, the advantage of the US Navy was that you, you, if you fight in only one row against a fleet that instead, instead faced the battle in a confused uh, in a confused uh, disposition of their ship with ship on three rover instead the enemy is only one row is very simple because the ship that fight in only one row could use every gun of his fleet and every torpedoes against the enemies because if the enemies appear on left use the, you turn the gun on left if the enemies appear on right you turn the gun and your torpedo tube on right and you can use every every gun of your fleet instead if the enemies face you in a confused disposition with three row this means that only one row the road that is more near is the nearest to the enemy can shoot freely the other two row cannot shoot freely because they risk to hit their own ship in this case you see the American, they have only just turn right, turn right, and you can use every gun against this ship. And they, they use torpedoes. If one torpedo miss one ship, could hit the second rope, and even the third rope. Instead, the Japanese can use only the ship on the row that is near to the US Navy. Because if they use the gun of the other ship, the risk of the torpedo, the risk to sink their own ship. This is the advantage of fighting in only one line, and this is the, the reason why even on earth the troops fight in line. Because if you fight in line, you have a front, and the enemy is in the other side, you can use every gun, every gun you have, every rifle, against the enemies. But if you fight in two, three, four line, the second, the third line, probably they cannot use the weapon, because otherwise they could hit own troops. So this is, was the advantage, American was in on one row, and this was the disadvantage of the Japanese. The Japanese was in still in a confused situation with the three, three row. Why American didn't exploit the time? Because in naval battle, time is essential. In a matter of minutes, a battle, a battle navy, a naval battle, could change completely the, the favor of one part or another. In a matter of minutes, never battle, I believe a normal battle, um, a battle of heart, a division, to destroy a division you, you could spend two or three days, but to destroy a fleet you can spend 20 minutes, 50 minutes. So, time is life in a naval battle. And why American didn't exploit his advantage? They didn't exploit because of the technologies. Because American 
adopted a new system of communication between ship that use only one frequency um, and uh, is, was named TBS, tail, Talk Between Ship. And this system connected every uh, cunning tower of the main ship of the US Navy, the, the, the main deck, the bridge, the, the, the place where the, each commander uh, as his place of fighting is a uh, uh, action station when he, uh, every every ship has his cunning tower and they could speak freely in the same time so when the American the US Navy first saw the Japanese ship they start to talk with this system and the admiral ship receive a lot of communication altogether saying ah we have seen japanese we have seen the enemy's ship we have seen three cruiser we have seen two destroyer and so it was impossible for the admiral to give appropriate order to open fire so this confusion led lost the um, US Navy lost the valuable time to exploit his advantage and when finally they opened fire the two fleet was so connected to each other that it was not no more a naval battle but a door fight on which every ship find his enemy and shot his own enemy ship and often both Japanese and US Navy in the confusion of the night in some case fire to their own ship so we can see that a very big advantage US Navy has had in that battle wasn't exploited because of a bad use of technology technology is very important but you, you must use, you must be trained to use. If you are not trained, technology bring only, may bring only confusion and uh, cannot to exploit the advantage, in this case, US Navy had. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy.